I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started using uh, Ideal Tools Organizer. So you start out by coming to idealautomate.com. You don't even have to log in. Uh, you just go to click on the Tools tab. Click on Ideal Tools Organizer. This uh, uh, takes you to a page where you can download the application. And then if you uh, need to have SQL Server or any of these, you click on the Install button. Otherwise, you can cl just click Launch. This is a one-time process where you're uh, adding the software to your machine. It launches it for you. And you're all set to go. Uh, it comes with uh, default categories that uh, I have on my computer, but you'll need to customize them to uh, use them on your computer. Because uh, where the tools are located on my computer are different from where they are on yours. So, here's how to launch a Visual Web Developer. You just click on the uh, content that you want to launch. It's got the uh, executables already uh, selected. Click on the launch button. And it launches that without you having to worry about the uh, project uh, being uh, migrated off the recently used uh, projects list. One powerful feature is that the, this tool rem, uh, reminds you of where you keep your uh, tools. So when you're working on a debugging problem, you don't have to keep on which tool can I use. It's all right there in front of you. Same with coding. It gives you uh, a little reminder of where everything is. Very good for bookmarking websites and also for uh, going directly to folders in Windows Explorer you just put the folder you want it to launch to and it launches Windows Explorer immediately to that folder so if you're constantly going to certain folders you can have them right there I want to show you how to uh, add a new uh, category you right click on the root folder and you uh, select add subcategory. I'm going to add automation tools. Click OK. Add it, then you click on that folder. You could add a subfolder if you want. I'm going to leave it at that. Here we have no content or executables at this point. We need to add that. So I'm going to add by browsing. Uh, this uh, automation tool that I'm using, I'm going to use, is uh, I'm going to get to by Internet Explorer, which is in my program files, Internet Explorer folder, and here's the executable. You only have to set this up once, uh, and then you can just launch it thereafter. And the content that I'm going to use, I'm just going to type that in. idealautomate.com and then you just launch it and you can select it it automatically selects the first one that launches the website okay now to delete what we've just added you don't normally need to delete it but when you're customizing you'll need to start at the lowest level the content and the executables and then you can delete the folder after that so you delete the content click on the delete button, you select it, click on the delete button, and to delete the folder, you right click on the folder and say remove category. This uh, tool will allow you to save about 30 minutes a day in launching time because so, you're not fumbling through the dark trying to find where your content and where your tools are. Thank you.